करोति वाचालं पंगुं लांघायते गिरिं यत्कृपातमहं वन्दे श्रीगुरुं दीनतारिणं कृपया क्षमतामपराधिजनं खलु शायुतशक्तसुदीननरं सुपथे परिचालय सर्वदिनं प्रणमामि च माधव देवपदं वाञ्छाकल्पतरुभ्य वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति तप्तकांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरी प्रि हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांतराधाकांत नमोस्तुते भुजे सव्यवेणु शिशि शिखिपिछम कटितटे दुकूल नेत्रे सहचर कटाक्ष विदधते सदा श्रीमद्वृंदवन वसति लीला परिचय जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथगा मे वंदे नंद व्रजस्त्रीण पादरेणुमीक्षणश याशा हरिकथोदीत पुनाती भुवन भक्त विहीन अपराधलक्षिप्ताश्च कामादितरंगमध्ये कृपा मयी ता शरण प्रपन्न बृंदे नुमस्ते चरणारविंद भूमस्वलितना भूमिरेवलबन तय्यजातपराधाम शरण प्रभु वगीशा ये वदने लक्ष्मी वक्ष्यसी यस्ते हृदय संवित निशिंगा भजे श्रीकृष्णचैतन्यप्रभुनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवाशादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये So yesterday we heard the Avadhut Brahmana telling to Yadu that I have accepted twenty-four shiksha gurus, even though I have not directly received any instruction from them. Observing their activities, their nature, I have learned lessons from them. So the twenty-four are earth, air. sky water fire moon sun the pigeon python ocean the moth bee elephant a honey thief a deer a fish and a prostitute named pingala and a bird by the name kurara a child a boy i mean uh, an infant or boy you can say and an unmarried girl and a person who prepares arrows from a serpent from spider and another kind of an insect so from these 24 by seeing their nature and behavior i have learned lesson So the first one we heard yesterday was about the earth. So he was telling that dukha sahishnu purusho daybadhin pranigan kartrik utpirat hoyau iha daybakarj janiya dharmapat hoyte vichlato hoybenna. Ami prani 
पदाहता निश्चला पृथ्वी निकट होते यही क्षमाव्रत शिक्षा करिया सो इज टेलिंग दैट अर्थ लाइक शी रिसीव्स सो मच ऑफ बर्डन मेनी पर्सन आर ट्रैम्पलिंग हर वॉकिंग ऑन हर एंड सो मेनी काइंड ऑफ सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज आर बींग परफॉर्म्ड बट स्टिल शी इज वेरी निश्चला वेरी पॉयस्ड वेरी बैलेंस्ड एंड वेरी पेशेंट सो आई हैव लर्न दिस फ्रॉम हर हाउ इज टेलिंग दैट इन द मिडल ऑफ सो मेनी ट्रिब्युलेशंस सो मेनी मिजरीज ट्रबल्स एंड सॉरस understanding them to be given by god due to my own past activity it is awarded to me by the lord itself not lord himself not by anyone else is the cause of it it is rather my own karma i am destined to get this therefore i got this so thinking like this like this a person will not be destabilized means his mind will be very much fixed and stable being patient from all kinds of miseries coming from the all corners so uh, vishnu chakravarti thakur writes in the commentary prithvi hai te kshama gun shikha kuriyachi e hai bolte chen prani gan prithvi r upar yatechha bhabe vicharan korileo prithvi dhir sthir so what i learned from earth is kshamagun to be forgiving to be patient earth is forgiving isn't it? we are doing so many sinful activities but she is very much forgiving so just like earth this forgivingness i have learned from her pranigan prithvir upar yathechha bhav vicharan korte cha they are wandering at their own will and wish they are not considering oh here maybe she will feel burden maybe here she will get problem they are no, nobody is considering everyone is walking on her freely without even many many of us nobody is asking permission also from mother earth that you please let me put my feet on you allow me to walk on you as i said i still can't remember because i never bother to remember Uh, i mean i never tried to you know what do you call again dig back into that memory of mine several years ago that i learned before you place your feet on the floor every day you have to offer prayers to mother earth that my dear earth please allow me to put my feet on you i have been performing so many sinful activities but you have been for bearing all the while so please i am please excuse me for having to put my feet on you like this you have to pray your you know you have to take permission from mother earth similarly at the time of bed again you pray that all whole day i have been you know wandering you know without caring for your troubles or anything so whatever troubles i have given to you you please excuse me this is the way because in india now i learned these verses in the in, in my childhood but actually i forgot all those and i did not try to again you know memorize them so in india the rishis and munis we see everyone as a personality we don't see earth is like a some matter dead matter so oh, there is a personality river personality is there ocean there is a personality behind it because without a personality nothing can become animate ocean water is flowing one may say oh it's just because of the wind the river or oh, because of the wind or because there is a downstream but actually behind all these you know objects there is a personality that the sanatan dharma it talks about that personality behind every even behind the mountain there is a personality we see it to be a collection of rocks but there is a personality behind that also so one has to <coughs> nobody bothers even to beg forgiveness from mother earth but she is so forbearing she is so tolerant <coughs> she is so forgiving that 
she is not complaining about it. So this I have learned because if someone uses my property, if someone just enters into my door without my permission, then I'll get upset. Oh, did you ask permission from me before you coming in? <coughs> or we are so civilized that whenever we go, may I come in, sir? May I enter? So we take permission, but with Mother Earth, nobody feels that kind of a obligation also. So, Prithvir upar yadet chabave vicharan korileu, Prithvi dhirsthir, but still she is very tolerant, very stable. Prithvi hoite ihai shikha kuyaj. This is what I have learned from Mother Earth. Vidwan vyakti daiva vashe sukh dukha. जहाई लाभ करूँ न क्यों तथापि निज पत होते कखो विचलित हो सो इन ए सिमिलर वे ए लर्नड पर्सन वेदर ही इज गेटिंग हैप्पीनेस और डिस्ट्रेस ही डज नॉट बॉदर अबाउट इट बट ही इज वेरी स्टडी एंड डिटर्मिन इन हिज टारगेट सो बिकॉज द मिजरी हेज कम ही इज यू नो बिकम मोरोज एंड बिकॉज सम प्लेजर हेज कम ही हेज बिकेम very delighted it's not like that dukeshu anudvignamana sukeshu gatasprha vitaraga bhaya krodha sthita dhir muniruchyate krishna is telling to arjuna in bhagavad gita that dukeshu anudvignamana in the middle of sorrows and troubles he who is anudvigna who who is not udvigna means to become agitated to become disturbed he who remains undisturbed in the middle of problems sukheshu vigata spriha and in, whenever happiness comes he is not overly delighted he is not dancing in the air or he has no horns over his head it happens you know when when we have achieved something then we have horns of, do you say in in your country having horns on the head no you don't say so like as if we have become an alien we have come from uh, so in india we say you know we have got horns on our head that we have become something special in happiness so it is not like that vi taraga bhaya krodha one who is not attached free from attachment and free from repulsion sthita dhir he is called dhi means intelligence his intelligence is very fixed that is the characteristic of a sober man so here um Avadhuta Brahmana is telling that I have learned the nature of forgiveness from Mother Earth because she is very, very forbearing. She is very patient, tolerant. Now, Shla Prabhupada writes on the commentary, Prithvir Vakshe Vicharan Shil Janagan Prithvi Ke Shikha Guru Najaniya Bira Bhogya Mane Kora. Those who are walking on the earth, they don't consider her as their shiksha guru because they have no inclination to learn anything from her they simply want to use exploit in this material world all of us are used to only one thing how can I exploit if i go there what benefit i will get we are never worried about what benefit we can give to others we are always worried about what i can get ex- exploit from the person so here he is telling that prabhupad that those who are so many living entities are walking on mother earth but nobody is considering trying to accept the lesson that mother earth is giving Inspi- instead they are thinking that oh she is an object meant to be enjoyed that's it earth is producing fruits earth, earth, earth is producing grains earth is you know it is it is her duty so she is doing it what's great about it so we are so what do you call <coughs> what is the right word for it we are so selfish you know that we are not even we don't have even uh, a tendency to think that oh she is supplying to us so i have to learn so much from her but instead we think that she is an object of enjoyment sutra प्रत्येके प्रत्येके पीड़ा दान कोरिया प्रत्येके नित्य धर्म होते विचित कर चेष्टा करें सो इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू 
give their troubles to someone else nobody wants to keep the trouble like you know someone is carrying a heavy weight on the head he would want to pass it on to other he want to free himself what others whether, whether he is in trouble or not he is not worried so in this way <coughs> everyone is trying to give their own troubles to someone else and try to deviate them from what they are doing but the objective is that i shall be free but mother earth if you see she is bearing everyone without any complaint kamnar vashavarti hoya kam purankari devaganer anugatya krame prani ganer parasparo hinsa pravritti <coughs> so the the living entities usually because of you know uh, the desire for excessive enjoyment they worship the demigods they worship the demigods because the demigods supply the the what do you call the desires they fulfill the desires material desires everyone ganesh is in charge of some lakshmi is in charge of some durga is in charge of some other thing all demigods they have different adhikar <coughs> duties you know they they some certain duties that they can perform or certain fruits that they can award so by worshiping them everyone wants to get their desires fulfilled but in that way what is happening is just like there are clashes among the gods they are not they are not peaceful indra and all these persons they are not peaceful they are always in tension they are always in anxiety when demon will come when they will attack or oh, when will i be deprived from my enjoyment they are always in anxiety so we are worshiping those persons who are already in anxiety so what will be the result <coughs> peaceful no they are because of their excessive enjoyment they are in anxiety and we are worshiping them thinking that oh they have more enjoyment so i'll be happy there but ultimately we will also be in anxiety no material wealth will bring any anxiety money prestige <coughs> or fame or you know beautiful bangla or beauty none of these things none of these things bring happiness all of them only bring anxiety so here is telling that prani ganer paraspar hinsa pravritti therefore there is constant tussle among the living entities why there is tussle guru mara <coughs> used to explain that actually this material world in this material world there are different objects and because these objects are limited by nature if one person gets it other person will be deprived of it isn't it if if there is supply of 20 kilos of rice let's say there are 10 persons out of which seven are very strong three are very weak so these seven persons will get all the 20 kilos and the rest three are deprived of it why because in this material world everything is limited this is a limited material world this is an un- not an unlimited material world everything is limited in supply therefore of course it is limit it is sufficient for everyone but unfortunately you know for 10 persons 20 kilos is sufficient but the thing is that seven person wants to store for tomorrow day after tomorrow the day after it the month after it not worrying about the remaining three so the point is if one gets other is deprived in this material world because of the limited nature of the things in this material world but if one worship supreme lord shri krishna because that is an unlimited world there cannot be a person who is deprived of it and another person who is overly you know rich with it to the degree of one surrender to that degree he will get but one cannot say that oh dhruva prahlad ambarish they have exhausted everything now we are left with nothing no whatever they have received everyone can receive because that is purna purnamada purnamidam that is a complete from that complete or infinite thing if you remove infinite also infinite still remains purnameva avashishyati so from infinite also if you remove infinite still the infinite remains so that 
Spiritual world is infinite, unlimited. Therefore, there cannot be any clashes there. Clashes are there only in this material because of the limited supply of material things. If one is having, others will not have it. That's why the difference haves and the have-nots, they say in English, you know, the haves and the have-nots. One person has it, other person does not have it. Or if, if ten persons have it, because everyone has a different degree, there is a constant fight puzzle. Because in this material world, clashes are possible because of the limited nature, limited tendency of the things here. But if one submits to Supreme Lord, then there cannot be any such clashes. So here is telling that Paraspara Hinsa Prabhupada, there is constant hatred or clashes, quarrels among various living entities. Adibhautik Dukher Dwara Abibhuta Hoyle Jiver Sahishnata Dharma Thakyanna. If one becomes anxious by the miseries given by others, then he cannot be Sahishnata. He cannot be he cannot be patient. He cannot be tolerant. If one becomes, you know, overly uh, what do you call attacked or anxious about you know someone giving trouble, then he cannot be patient. To be patient means to have a very clear clear vision, isn't it? To be patient means you should have a very, very clear vision. Yes, it, I am getting this because of whatever I have done in the past. But if we think that, oh, he is coming to attack me, he is coming to attack me, oh, this person has come, now trouble has come upon me. If we are <coughs> constantly anxious in that way, then we cannot be patient. Then we will be, you know, repulsive even from the beginning. Maybe that pers the person who has come, who is coming, wants to give a nice message to us. But, you know, I have some prejudice, some pre-opinion about that person. Oh, you know, this person is always like this. Then I will not be in a position to accept what he is bringing. And that brings me anxiety. So here he is telling that Adi Bhautik Dukher Dwara, the troubles that are given by others, if one becomes anxious by those, then Sahishnata Dharma Thakyana, then he cannot remain patient, he cannot become tolerant. Tajanya Asahishno Jeev Shikhar Abhave Jagate Bhoga Pravritir Vishishta Hai. Therefore, a person who is not tolerant. A person who has not learned to tolerate things, he will, because of no proper lesson, he cannot learn any lesson from anything and anyone. Therefore, he becomes Bhoga Pravritti Vishishta. He becomes attached to materials and gratificated desires because of having no patience. In this, in this spiritual world particularly, one needs patience. This is not attained in a day or two. One cannot get the object of our worship in 1, 2, 3, 5, 10 days. Material sense gratificated desires, you can get probably immediately. That also depends on our karma. That can be attained quickly. But the spiritual welfare is not immediately attained. You need to have patience. Utsahat, Nishayat, Dhairiyat. Rupa Goswami writes in Upadesh Shamri, Dhairiyat, you should be very tolerant, you should be very patient. And then the result is, of course, the highest. Kintu, Kshitir, Dharma, Sahan, Shilata. But Mother Earth, her nature is to be patient. Prithvire, Prithvike, Guru, Gyan, Kurya, Amyu, Therefore, Avadhuta Brahmana is telling, Prabhupada is concluding in the purport, that following the footsteps of Mother Earth or becoming her disciple, I also will become tolerant. I will learn to become tolerant. Shashvat parartha sarveham sarveham pararthaikanta sambhavaha sadhu Shikshetha Bhubhrito Nagashishyaha Nagashishyaha Paratmatam Sadhu Vyakti 
परोपकारार्थे वृक्ष तृण निर्जर आदि प्रसवकारी पर्वतर निकट होते परोपकारार्थे निजे उत्पत्ति एवं वृक्षर शिष्य हया पराधीन जीवर शिक्षा करें सो हिस टेलिंग दैट द ट्री द ग्रास द वाटरफॉल्स दे आर ऑल कमिंग फ्रॉम द माउंटेन्स सो वन इज अर्थ एंड अदर इज द माउंटेन्स माउंटेन्स आर ऑल्सो एंड अदर पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ सो इज टेलिंग दैट जस्ट लाइक फ्रॉम द वॉट फ्रॉम द माउंटेन्स द ट्रीज आर कमिंग देर आर सो मेनी ट्रीज देर इज ग्रास एंड देर इज यू नो वाटरफॉल्स सो माउंटेन गिव बर्थ टू ऑल दीज थिंग्स निकट होते परोपकारार्थे निजे उत्पत्ति बट द माउंटेन हिमसेल्फ इज नॉट एंजॉइंग एनी ऑफ दीज थ्री थिंग्स माउंटेन इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ट्रीज वॉट एवर यू नो लीव आर देर ट्रंक इज देर फ्रूट्स आर देर फ्लवर्स वॉट एवर इट इज द माउंटेन इज नॉट एंजॉइंग दोज ही सप्लाइंग ग्रास ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट नाइस प्लेस टू सिट कुशन यू कैन सिट नाइसली बट द माउंटेन हिमसेल्फ is not enjoying those similarly waterfalls everyone goes for an excursion for a picnic to take pictures so oh, nice falls there. water <coughs> waterfalls there let us go and enjoy take bath in the waterfalls we do all this but mountains so from the mountains what i have learned i have learned how to lead life for others benefit we do just the opposite how i can exploit from others how I, how can i become mightier and how much i can suppress others so that i shall gain but sadhus their life is only for the benefit of others <coughs> they give their life completely for the purpose of everyone isn't it they travel from place to place they follow so many Uh, activities like they are like guru maharaj he liberated person he is not he is not any conditioned person like us but still he undergoes so many you know uh, so called material troubles for us they are troubles because we are in attachment with the body for him they are not but still he undergoes all those challenging situations in order to <coughs> give instruction to all of us their the sadhu's life in in chetan charitamrit actually when as we go on reading we will we will understand mahaprabhu gives instructions there <coughs> he says that sadhu's life is for the purpose of others sadhu never lives for himself sadhu his life is completely meant on up, for upbringing the welfare of others that is the purpose of sadhu so he is telling that sadhu vyakti a person who is a sadhu he his life is just like that of a mountain he produces he like he uh, mountain is producing trees grass waterfalls etc but par upakar arth everything is meant for others benefit only nijer utpatti evam vriksher shishya hoya paradhin jivan shikha koriben and by and from the trees how to be you know dependent on others tree just like if you give water he will accept it if you don't give water he will not accept it but he will not ask for it he will not demand for it so this is the nature of a sadhu if you invite a sadhu or if you give food to a sadhu if you uh, worship a sadhu or if you respect a sadhu he will you know accept everything in connection with the god but if it is not offered he will not say oh you are not recognizing me you are not taking care of me he will not ask for it but he is always dependent on the supreme lord shri krishna always and just like the mountain he is life is for the welfare of everyone shla vishnu chakrati thakur writes in the commentary पृथ्वी दुई प्रकार एक पर्वत रूपा अन्य वृक्ष रूपा सो माउंटेन्स आर अर्थ इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स 
वन इज माउंटेन अदर इज ट्रीज अर्थ इज फील्ड विथ इट सो वन इज माउंटेन अदर इज ट्रीज प्रथमत पर्वत होते शिखार विषय बोलते चैन पर्वत पृथ्वी धारण करे झरना होते जल त्याग करे निज उत्पन्न रत्नादि प्रदान करे सो माउंटेन माउंटेन्स दे आर होल्डिंग सो मच ऑफ अर्थ दे आर होल्डिंग सो मच ऑफ स्टोन्स एक्सेट्रा एंड झरना होते जल त्याग करे एंड फ्रॉम द फॉल्स वाटर फॉल्स इज गिविंग सप्लाइंग वाटर देर आर सो मेनी एमराल्ड्स आर सो मेनी प्रेशर स्टोन्स दैट आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन द माउंटेन्स सो द माउंटेन इज सप्लाइंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट ही इज नॉट एन्जॉइंग दोज इज इंट इट द प्रेशर स्टोन्स ओ वाई आर यू टेकिंग फ्रॉम हियर गिव मी समथिंग यू आर टेकिंग अ स्टोन फ्रॉम मी गिव मी समथिंग नो ही विल नॉट से यही सकले ही पर उपकार साधु व्यक्तर जहाँ किचु आचरण सकले ही पर उपकार साधु यही रूप हईबें सो अल दिस थिंगस दैट माउंटेन व्टरफल्स आर द ट्रीज और व्हाट एवर अल दिस थिंगस आर फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ अदर्स सिमिलरली साधु व्हाट एवर एक्टिविटी ही परफॉर्म्स दैट इज टू ब्रिंग वेलफेयर अपॉन अदर्स व्हाट एवर द साधु डज इट इज नॉट फॉर हिज ओन पर्सनल enjoyment or anything as we you know when when we went to punjab uh, to speak about you know the samadhi mandir project and you know to ask them to come here to ask them to help in constructing it we had been to you know even smaller towns in punjab so we went to such places where you know they told that guru maharaj had come here he had you know uh, he came to our house he took prashad here and then he showed you know the the lane through which we passed was very narrow and filthy you know the it was very bad in shape and in the house he was taken to the house you know he told that our guru maharaj went upstairs he told that you please come and see you know, guru maharaj also went upstairs and we saw that the steps were so steep not like inside the house they are like somehow constructed just you know because of the scarcity of the place they have constructed one more floor above but you know the stairs were very narrow and steep so we were we wondered how guru maharaj would have climbed these stairs they would say you know particularly some people oh guru maharaj has come guruji please put your feet here also guruji please put your feet here also please put your feet here also for them you know they want to purify their house by taking sadhu's feet in every room but they don't understand you know if one were to ask okay take your father upstairs no no our father cannot climb up because they are very steep but guru maharaj he was taken everywhere so we could see we could witness you know he himself told that time we couldn't realize we thought that you know we have to take guru maharaj to every room we took but we are seeing how much trouble that he might have got because of this government bhi aisa kuch hua hmm sayan ke paas mein jo jhutta patti jaisa hai wahan pe bhi guru maharaj chahiye sadhu life is only meant for the welfare of others in the middle of all these things also what that person told is guru maharaj never complained complained that you know no i cannot climb the stairs it is difficult for me no he didn't okay they have the desire they have brought me here they have you know that desire to serve the sadhus so okay what to do but he never complained maybe after coming back to home he had some you know knee problem or leg problem that he would have got you know treated by himself but at that time he never we have seen also not only that case in several cases we have seen guru maharaj particularly that you know <coughs> he has been undergoing so many kinds of austerities those austerities he is undergoing only to give benefit to everyone not for his own self that is the life of a sadhu but we just we do just the opposite if i do this what benefit i will get 
we always are wanting the results first before doing an activity but sadhu is never thinking like that bikher shishya hoya ami paropakarita shikha koriyachi and similarly i have become becoming a disciple of a tree i have learned how to help others he is telling that i have become disciple of tree because previously only he told that i have i have not received any instruction from them directly but by seeing their nature and activities i have learned from them so <coughs> i have become disciple of a tree can we become so if we have guru darshan everywhere if we have the vision of guru everywhere then we can get teaching from everywhere from you know animated object or inanimate object from uh, <coughs> from a moving or a non moving creature we can always get instructions lessons provided we have guru darshan darshan is two types <coughs> guru darshan laghu darshan guru darshan means high vision exalted vision laghu darshan means lower vision if we see the object in whatever way we see in an exalted way we see then we will get an exalted instruction if we see as an object object as something inferior then we will not get any lesson we will get tendency to enjoy so it all depends on how i see an object whether i have guru darshan or i have laghu darshan i have an exalted vision or an inferior vision exalted vision then he is my instructor immediately from a guru we always learn if exalted vision then oh this is what i can learn from him otherwise this is how i can enjoy him this is the tendency so from a, uh, i have become disciple of a tree and from that i have learned paropakarita how to help others how to bring welfare upon others vrikshake keho यदि एक स्थान होते अन्य स्थान लइया रोपण कर जल सेचन आदि कर से उहा स्वीकार कर इहार को विरुद्ध आचरण करें ना नाउ द ट्री इज प्लांटेड समवेयर एंड सडनली आई फील दैट नो आई एम शिफ्टिंग माय हाउस सो लेट मी टेक दिस ट्री आल्सो अलोंग विथ मी ही अप्रोच द ट्री एंड टेक्स इट टू अनदर प्लेस वेयर ही इज शिफ्टेड एंड देन ही इम्प्लांट्स देयर एंड देन गिवस वाटर he is happy he does not say anything no i was brought here don't let me go outside why are you taking me i don't want to go with you does he protest no he will not protest he will do whatever way you want to okay take me so he is saying that se uha swikar kare yar kono virudh aacharan kare na because you have brought me to a place where i have no liking to i will not give you fruits he will say like that no you do whatever you want i shall not give up my nature this is the sadhu's property you trouble him or you do whatever he will not give up his sadhu nature uh, a person is a sadhu or not how you can understand a sadhu's nature can never be changed like gold gold is there if it is pure gold you put in the sand you put in the mud you put in the water you put in the fire wherever you put the glitter will not go the natural uh, the 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 gold's tendency will not go similarly sadhu a sadhu whatever kind of situation he is put in his nature remains undisturbed that is what a sadhu that's why bhakti nath thakur writes right riksha samakshama guna kar bhi sadhan he is telling there in uh, the uh, explanation to the third verse of shikshashtaka vriksha samakshama gun karavi sadhan you have to perform your sadhan your practices by becoming <coughs> tolerant as a tree vriksha samakshama gun he chetan chetamrita kaviraj goswami says vriksha jeno kati leo kichu na bolay if the tree is cut he does not say anything sukhai ya maile kare pani na magai and if you don't give water to him 
he will not say please give me water please give me water he will not say that also but jai jai magaye tare dei apan dhan but whatever wealth he has got he will supply to everyone what is the what are the what is the fruit he has got dharma vrishti sahay kare anay kanne rakhan like he gives shadow he gives shadow protection from you know heat isn't it if someone is walking on the street suddenly you find a tree oh very nice i will sit under the tree he is giving shadow and he is giving shadow uh, when there is rainfall also everyone is running under underneath a tree he is giving protection from gharma vrishti he himself is in the sun he himself is getting wet in the water but whoever has come to his shelter he is protected that is the nature of a sadhu he forbears everything the sun the heat the cold the water everything the rain etc everything he forbears but anyone who has come under his shelter he will supply them he will not see oh he is a brahmana oh he is a chandala oh he is an american oh he is an indian he will not discriminate all these things any person who has come under the shelter of a tree he will not see or oh, did he give me water any time why should i give shelter to him we will think like this he never did any he never did any good to me why should i be good to him this is our nature but kaviraj goswami mahaprabhu only instructed in this mood we cannot perform hari bhajan a sadhu's life is completely meant for the welfare of others he will not consider oh whether he has done good to me or bad to me oh this person has one time he tried to cut my branches why will i give shelter to him he will not even say that that is the nature of the tree so he is telling that <clears throat> like a tree you have to become very forbearing very tolerant and award fruits to everyone jai jai magai tare dei apan dhan even before falling up to the point of his falling down he gives shade isn't it the tree and after falling down he will give wood for cooking even after that he will not supply stop supplying he will still continue to supply okay my leaves can be used as plates food plates or my you know branches can be used log can be used to cook or construct tables or you know furniture or make <coughs> uh, <coughs> cooking so the tree is so considerate that even a person who is coming to cut chop him he is providing him the whatever fruits he has got sei roop jogi vyakti hoy ben so the devotees are also like that ihai parvat hoyte vrikher विशेषत्व जानी बैन सो फ्रॉम द ट्री एंड द फ्रॉम द माउंटेन दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू लर्न लर्न टू लिव फॉर अदर्स नॉट लर्न टू लिव फॉर यूर ओन सेल्फ ओके फ्रॉम अर्थ वॉट इट ही लर्न टू बी पेशेंट टू बी फॉर गिविंग एंड फ्रॉम माउंटेन एंड द ट्रीज ही लर्न हाउ टू लिव फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ अदर्स विथआउट कंसिडरिंग अबाउट माई ओन बेनिफिट श्ला प्रभुपाद राइट्स इन द कमेंट्री गिरी समूह कठिन मृत्तिका से रूप कठिन ना है तज्जन कठिन पर्वत अकठिन मृत्तिका समूह बहन करे एवं कठिन पर्वत एर भार अकठिन मृत्तिका धारण करते समर्थ है ना पृथ्वी दुई प्रकार उपादान कठिन पर्वत और कठिन मृत्तिका पर्वत होते तदितर वस्तु समूह पदार्थ परता शिक्का करे सो earth mountain has two things uh, one is uh, earth earth is of two types one is the mountain and the other is the mud mountains are very strong mud is you know light so these are the two things that earth is composed of and this strong mountains they bear earth also the mud also अखंड मृतिका धारण करते समर्थ है पृथ्वी दुई प्रकार उपादान सो दीज आर द टू फ्रूट्स ऑफ अर्थ 
one is the mountain and other is the earth parvat hoite tad itar vastu samuha padartha parta shikha korebe from the mountains what you have what you can learn you can learn that just like he is producing waterfalls the trees and uh, emeralds of a sadhus living in this material here we can know from this how much of saintly qualities we have and how much of non saintly qualities we have got we can we can judge to ourselves how much of my life am i offering it for others welfare how much benefit am i bringing for others simply by this we can understand because he is telling that the sadhus purpose is only to bring welfare upon others natva swarthaparata asya jeev ke parahinsa chesthan vit parai if we are not trying to bring welfare upon others then what comes just the opposite selfishness either you live for yourself or live for others these are the two purposes sadhus do the second thing live for others but the moment we live for our own selfish ends then what happens is telling that parahinsa chesta chestanvito we become we <coughs> harm others parahimsa we commit harm to others why because sadhu is doing just the opposite he is harming himself to give benefit to others but to get benefit for my own self i will harm others so how much of the sadhu quality saintly qualities i have we can simply understand by this so here avadhuta brahmana is telling that what i have learned from this if we can learn these qualities from in nature or from other things then we will we will become successful in spiritual life but if we see as you know yes i am the enjoyer i am supposed to get it then we will be deprived of such beautiful lessons what i mean such a beautiful lesson that he is getting from the mountains and the trees prithvi hoite jat vrikher nikat hoite shikha labher bishoy paropadrav paropadrav sahishnuta and the other part of the earth is the trees the mountains and the soft mud or soft land where there are trees so from the trees what i have learned paropadrav sahishnuta to forbear others you know what do you call upadrav means distress that others give disturbances that others give to be tolerant to those things asadhu bhogi जीव सकल प्रत्येक वस्तु के ही स्वीय भोग्य ज्ञान करे किंतु तहा दिखे गुरु ज्ञाने शिष्य सूत्रे तहा देर निकट जे शिक्षा लाभ हो उहाय साधु धर्म सो इन दिस प्रोपाद इज यू नो क्लियरली मेकिंग अ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बिटवीन साधु एंड असाधु व्हाट डज एन असाधु डू असाधु भोगी जीव सकल द the sense enjoyers who are asadhus pratyek vastu ke hi swiye bhoge gyan kare he thinks that all objects are for my enjoyment only this is what he considers anything is there oh it is meant for my enjoyment only whereas kintu tahadike tahadike guru gyan e shishya sutre tahader nikat je shikha labh hoy u hai sadhur dharma whereas on the other hand what does a sadhu do that oh this this is like my guru he is coming to instruct me something let me become his disciple when when can i learn when i become a disciple when i become disciple means when i become meek yes what can i learn from him so <clears throat> a sadhu he sees an object he sees that oh here is an object for my enjoyment whereas a sadhu when he sees oh how can i what can i learn from him i want to make him as my guru or i want to get instruction from him so he becomes disciple and he will accept teaching from that from that object or from that person tarur nyay sahiya gun sampanno o parvater nay achal atal hoilei 
Hari Bhajan Sambhav. So, Shla Prabhupada is telling that one has to be more forbearing like a tree and one has to be very determined or very fixed like a mountain is very fixed, very much fixed. So, you have to be fixed or determined like a mountain and you have to be tolerant like a tree. Only then Hari Bhajan is possible. It cannot be performed with a fickle mind and with an intolerant nature. You have to be very tolerant and you have to be very steady. So, Hari Bhajan is possible only in this manner. Natva asahishnu vyakti kokhano bhagavanir seva kurte parenna. An impatient person can never perform service to Supreme Lord. A person who is impatient, he can never perform worship to Supreme Lord. One has to be very forbearing, very, very tolerant. So, only then one can perform bhajan. Ejanai Shri Gaurasundar Sakal Jeevke Taru Nai Sahya Guna Sampan Hoya Harikirtan Kuribar Adesh Kuriya Chen. Trinadapi Suni Chena Taro Rapi Sahishnuna Amanina Manadena Kirtanya Sadahari. That is why Gaurasundar is telling that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, therefore, he has given instruction Taru Ranya, just like a tree. Sahishno, you have to become tolerant in order to perform bhajan always. If you want to perform Hari Bhajan always, then you have to become humble than a grass, more tolerant than a tree. You should give respect to everyone and you should not expect any respect from others. Only in that state, you can perform Hari Bhajan always. So here he is telling that this is the instruction of Mahaprabhu to all the living entities that you have to become tolerant than a tree means you have to learn lesson from the tree. Isn't it? You have to learn this lesson from the tree that you have to become more tolerant than a tree. You have to find out how tolerant is the tree. Only then you will try to become more tolerant than a tree. And in that state you can perform Hari Bhajan. So that is the end of our purport to this. Which one? We, uh, this is uh, 38. We did 37 yesterday, na? Right? So 37, 38. 37 purport and 38. Complete. Jai Grantarashimad Bhagavat Mahapuran ki jai Shri Krishna Dvaipayana Vedavyasa Mahamuni ki jai Paramaratam Shla Prabhupada Shla Param Gurudev Shla Gurudev ki jai Gaur Primanandi.